Hey guys, what's up? It's Madel here and welcome back to a brand new series on my channel. So today we're going to be playing Puggy Craft, which is a new brand new modded survival on my channel. It's replacing Madola Craft. Madola Craft, like, it was a good series and all, but I kind of, it, I just started it when I first started my channel and it was kind of getting like annoying for me to record so now we're on a brand new series puggy craft and we also start off with a pug spawn egg and a leech and a collar so when we find somewhere to live oh there's an elephant but when we find somewhere to live we can spawn in our pug so i think we're going to get the sugar cane because this sugar cane looks really good we can use it to enchant later on in the series oh my gosh look at the water Oh, this is coral. Oh my gosh. Where I live in Australia, coral with heaps of it around. And oh my gosh, I need a tall. It's so cute. Okay, we just we spawned on a little deserted island. So let's quickly get over to land. We don't need to die so soon on the first episode. Oh. We also have a crystal ball spawn so that we can spawn a village if we ever want to have a family. I want to have a family in this series. But let's look around. What is this? What is this? Oh, what is this? This is cotton. Oh my gosh, what can we do with cotton? Let's see what we can do with cotton. I don't think we can do much with cotton. But I'll still take it anyway because it looks cool. But look at these trees. And what's this? Orchard. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Of course, the first thing you have to do in Minecraft is cut down a tree. Very, very, very fun. I know, I know. Okay, we got our first achievement. Okay, there we go. We got some wood. Oh, this is spruce wood. Okay. But let's make ourselves a crafting table and some sticks so we can start our journey off in this beautiful world. There we go. So now we have some tools. Not too much yet. Not too fancy. But we have enough. Oh my gosh. It's a corgi. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. You're gorgeous and you're running around in circles like a crazy puppy, aren't you? But look, look guys, more sugar cane. Hello sheep. I actually think we should kill the sheep so that we can get its wool. Because we will need a lot of wool um, so we can make a bed. <gasps> There's a fox. Oh my gosh. We can get some cobblestone so that we can make some better tools because we cannot keep these tools. Like these tools are disgusting and we won't be able to keep them for long unless we want to die from all the mobs. <laughs> Oh, so here's a fox. Aren't you cute? We don't have anything to tame you with, though. Sorry. But look at this. This is a um, beehive, I think. <gasps> now we got a queen bee. Oh, my gosh. We've got a queen bee. Not sure what you do with those, but <gasps> look at these, guys. These give you berries, I think. Yes, they do. We can plant these later on in our series. Oh, look at this. Oh, what is that? Oh, my gosh. Raw shrimp. Oh, my gosh. Where did that come from? This is such a cute area. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, there looks to be a cave here as well. I don't know if we should go check this out. It looks kind of scary. Um, We're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it, guys. We're going to risk our lives. Oh, my gosh. We also have a raw turtle, a raw frog. Oh, my gosh. Yuck. Okay, so here's a better pickaxe. And we'll also make ourselves a better sword. Let's get some coal so that we can see properly in this cave. Because this cave looks very, very, very dark. Okay, now we have some torches so we can see a little bit, which is very good. I actually think this cave ends, and it does, but look, there's a mushroom. Let's take the mushroom. Well, this cave officially was bad, so I guess we're going to leave now, because... Oh, does that go down anywhere? I don't think so. We can just swim up. Ooh, this biome looks scary. What is this biome? This is dead wood. Yuck. Okay, we, we don't want that. This is creepy. Let's get out of here. I just really want to get out of this biome. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh my gosh. Could this be a good food source for us? Oh my gosh, it's like this kind of fruit. I've seen this in last in Manila Craft. But I don't I think we have to wait for this tree to grow. Maybe if we like cut it, will it give us like a sapling or something? I really want to get out of these biomes now, but I don't know where we are. Snow biome, we should get some snowballs. Yes, we should, definitely should do that. Okay, let's put our crafting table down. Guys, I am so sorry about the background noise. I don't know what I can do about it. Not really much. But we're going to make ourselves a shovel so we can get some of the snow because who wouldn't want this kind of snow? It's adorable. Um, what is this though? What is this? I just found it here. Oh my gosh. What are you? I demand to know. Oh my gosh, what is this? Do you come in peace? Can I kill it? I'm sorry. Oh, I feel bad now. What is this, though? This will be a good food source for a while. Whatever these are. 
Tell me if you guys know what this fruit is, because I've never seen it before. Oh, it's another doggy! Hello! Hello, guys, you're so cute. You are so cute. I appear to be stuck in this biome. I can't seem to get out of it. <gasps> is this huskies? This biome is pretty cute. The, the grass does a glitch without my shaders, so I might put on my shaders sometimes. Tell me if you want my shaders on or not, because it makes my game not as smooth. But <gasps> look, this looks like a plains biome. This is cute. Oh my gosh, look over here. We were stuck in two biomes for so long. This is cute. Oh my gosh, what kind of biome is this? Let's see, what kind of biome? This is a orchard. Well, guys, look down here. This is so pretty. It's got like a waterfall. We could live down there. And look, I found this. What is this? My question, what is this little house? This is creepy. Can we get into it? Anyone here? Oh, there's a chest. Oh, we got some fish! Yay! We can put some stuff in this chest. We don't really... I don't really want to throw anything out. We don't need this cotton. Rowan berries! Oh my gosh, this is part of the witchery mod! Okay, let's let's take these with us, because we want to be doing witchery later on in the series. So that'd be so much fun. Is this coffee beans, if I'm right? It is! You know, if you guys don't know me very well, I love coffee, and uh, I need it. Okay, guys, I feel like I want to live here. Like, it's just a cute little enclosed area. I think it's really adorable down here, but we're going to have a little more look around, you know, just in case. I've set a waypoint, so if we end up wanting to come back here, we definitely can. So I think I'm going to empty my inventory, cut down a tree here, and make a chest. Okay, so I have ourselves a chest. We're going to put most of the stuff that we own in here, because we have so much stuff now. I think we should adventure up this mountain because I want to see what's up here. By the way, I spawned in my little dog that I had the spawn egg from the start. So this is Bonnie. I decided um, to um, make her and my recording did stop for some weird reason. So I did set up a little camp down here and I wanted to go show you guys what I found over this mountain. Trapped another little dog down here that fell in and tamed him with the leftover stuff I had left. That we were given with at the start of the game. Hey Bonnie, weren't we? So up this mountain is the most massive village ever. So we can also teleport between our home and the village. I want to show you the village. This village is so populated. Look at it. It's massive. Look at all these people. Someone's been breeding like crazy. I'm just going to say that right loud right now. Because look, I really want to marry someone. But this is insane. There are so many people. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even. There's too many people. Oh my gosh, what's this? Oh my gosh, it's a little farm. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to steal from it. Actually, yeah, I'm going to steal from it because we can make a beautiful farm ourselves and they always replant, right? So hopefully they do anyway. I think, you, yeah, you can also trade with these villagers. Isn't that cool? I really want to get married in this series, but we just have to find the right guy. Hi, hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hopefully he'll like me in the end. I think he likes me. Let's leave him in this spot so that we can, like, come back to him. Uh, that's kind of cruel, but what do you do? Well, we could get roses from him. That's it's pretty much a rip-off, though. Just going to say that it right now. Okay, so let's teleport back home. Um, but the village is very close to where we live. It's, like, legit just over there. Did not realize. We still have our crystal ball, but let's um, empty out this. <gasps> we got a, like, I thought that was a banana. It looks like a banana. But we can empty out all these seeds because, oh my gosh, we have so many. We also got a chest plate from a blacksmith, which was really cool because now we have a little bit of little bit of clothing. But Bonnie, where did you go? Where's Bonnie gone? Bonnie can take a little bit to teleport sometimes. Hopefully she's okay. Where's my Bonster? <gasps> Bonnie, what are you doing here? Come home with me. Come on. Come on, Bon. Come on, girl. You can do it. 2,000 years later. Okay, Bonnie has finally followed me back home. It took her forever to come back. She was stuck at the village. I put her in here. So her name is Chica. That's her name. She's a little chihuahua. But the thing I wanted to show you guys, it's up this hill. And it was here when um I was just walking around off camera. And I just 
thought maybe we could stay here, you know, while we have, like, nothing. So instead of building a house for now, we could just live here, which I think is a really good idea. Tell me if you think this is a good idea to stay in here. I think it's a very good idea. Come on, Bonnie, come inside with me. If you want to sit out here, you can sit out here, but I think you'll want to come inside. I stole some wood from the lanterns at the village, and we got some black wool, which we can use to make a bed. So I'm going to take some of the stuff up to where Bonnie is up at the house, so we can um, definitely make ourselves like a little living there, because we're not going to do very well if we don't have any food, anything. So let's make ourselves a bed. Actually, we need to cut down some more trees. Oh my gosh, we are so poor in wood. Okay, so let's make ourselves a bed. There we go. We got ourselves a bed. Now, we can't take Chica up there with us because she doesn't have a collar, so we can't take her on a lead. But I've made a little um, checkpoint to our house, so we can go up here. And Bonnie, what are you doing over here? Come on, girl. Okay, so let's put our bed inside this little house. Um, let's just put it... Where can we put it? Let's just put it on this side. I think that's pretty okay. So now we've got a little setup in here, and it's nice and cozy for us so we don't get killed by the monsters. So I hope you guys all did enjoy the first episode of Puggy Craft. Um, this is the first series, actually, of Puggy Craft. So I hope you guys all did enjoy this episode with me and Bonnie today. I love you, Bonnie. I love you. I love you so much. So if you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your suggestions for other episodes in the comments. Bye, guys. Difficulties with wounded lips and salted cheeks and fine